The Children's Museum of Evansville is always a fun spot because there are fun people working there, like Melissa Moorhead Moore. It's good to see you on this MLK Day. Yes, happy MLK Day to you, and it's good seeing you as well. So you're open today. We are open today. Good to know. School is closed, but SEMO is open today until 4 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Now, do you have new hours in general? We do. All right. We do have new hours, of course. New year, new time, new hours of play, more hours of play. So we are still closed to the public on Mondays, but Tuesday through Thursday is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Friday is 9 to 5, Saturday to, uh, 9 to 5, excuse me, and Sunday is 12 noon to 5. And so that's a nice, the Sunday afternoon opening. It is. It's so nice. I used to take my grandkids in there when you did that. Yes. And just a good, it's a gentle afternoon it is. with the kids. It is, it is. And always, program is always a lot of fun. And I know you have a partnership with the library. Yes. Tell us about that. We are that. excited about that, of course. So this coming Thursday, the third Thursday of each month, we are going to be in collaboration with the Evansville Vanderbilt Public Library for Toddler Time. So Toddler Time Thursday will be at the museum starting at 10 o'clock in our drip drop spot, the toddler room for 10 to 10.30. And again, it's the third Thursday of each month. And so what will be happening in there? Well, one of their outreach facilitators will be coming over to the museum and reading stories to the toddlers. So we're excited about the collaboration. That will be fun. Is that good, ongoing or is it ongoing? Ongoing, absolutely. Yes, the third Thursday of each month. For the rest of the calendar year. <laughs> Can you pay just for an individual visit there or do you, how so, do you do that? Um, unfortunately, you cannot. All exhibits and everything, of course, are included in with the okay. pricing, so you do have to pay in order to come. But to you that. pay the entrance but fee. But you pay the entrance or fee. Or become a member. Become a member. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Angie. Thank you for the plug. <laughs> become a member. You have so many perks with that. Yes. What is the membership fee? Oh, goodness. There are so many memberships. Options. Options. So I would say for a safe bet, because you do not want to have me give you wrong information, <laughs> quote them, quote them all go right to cmokids.org. Right. You can you'll find see all the information. All the Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, and coming up, the, because we had Nikki on last yes, week, your artist yes, in residence. Artist in she's, resident. she's just such a Renaissance yes, person anyway. Yes, she is. She when does is. that start it with her? It starts tomorrow. Okay. It starts tomorrow. So she is going to be our artist in residence for until March mm -hmm. and doing all things photography, whether it's with your camera and definitely with your smartphone. So we are excited about that collaboration and bringing that program back to the museum as well. We're definitely excited about that. It's been a while. Has since it not? the pandemic, since absolutely. The pandemic, yes. So, yeah. I think that's the magic answer now, since the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we mark all time by yes, that, don't we? Absolutely. Well, Nikki, of course, Nikki Davis is such a talented woman across many disciplines. She is. But this is her focus of photography. Yes, it is. It is. So please, again, if you are not a member, this would be a great time to um, become a member of the museum or renew your membership. Or again, just come down and all programs and all exhibits, of course, are included in with your. Another good reason. Another good reason. Uh, family, free, family free night is coming family up. Family free night is coming up. The first one in 2023, the first Thursday in February, February 2nd, from 5 until 8 p.m. The last family comes in at 7.30. And so this is a way for everyone in the community to come to CMO. And, and I know excited. it's busy that night. It is busy that night. It is very busy that night. So again, it's the first count, first three months of the year where we are gearing up for all things for the museum. And we also have a save the date for um, our professional development, which is Ignited. We will have our development director back next month to talk more about that. But please save the date for our very first professional development fundraiser, Ignited. March 14th, Janine Ledford will be coming and talking all things, culture and diversity and bringing it all together for play. It's a rich opportunity, it so is. sign up. Thank you, darling. Thank you. We'll be back with more right after this. Stay with us.